Hello, it's Sarah, and I wanted to share some ATCs with you guys. Um, I did end up finding a website. It's called ATCs for All, and I did join that, and I'm a newbie there, so I, you know, I can only join certain swaps and things like that. Um, but I've just been playing, and um, I've only signed up for one so far, and it's not due till July, so I started playing with what I'm, the subject is of that, but... I'll get to that in a minute, but for, for now, I'm just going to start with what I've made in the order that I've made them, so I think I made these, like, just before Mother's Day, yeah. Um, I've been pulling out papers and different printables that I have and things, um, which is nice because um, I'm using paper that I've had for a long time and didn't really know what to do with, so this set is called Green, I titled it Green, and... It's not all green, but, uh, cause I use this like, uh, at crew, I guess it's like a tan colored ribbon behind the green bling and the green flower, but it was a piece of paper that I cut apart. So see how it, it like connects, it joins. And I think that's called like a, a series when it's like that. I'm kind of, I'm learning about ATCs, but so far I've really done mostly collage. That's what I'm considering this style, um, of ATC that I'm doing so far. I haven't done a lot of mixed media. I want to start to get into that, but for now I'm doing the collage. So this is called green and all I did was put, um, I cut these butterflies out. They were actually on the paper too. They were just, it was a bigger eight by, you know, 11 or however big a piece of paper is. I don't know. <laughs> and then I did put a little froggy on there and a couple of green pearls on each one, but a frog is green. And then just the pink butterfly is the only thing besides that tan ribbon. But I think they're cute. And then I rounded the corners on these two. Oh, I put a little like um, glossy accents on those berries. Put a different kind of frog on there. And I used, um, what is it called? The uh, Wink Estella on the butterflies. Give them a little shimmer. So that's that set. And then I did these three. And this is, this paper is, I'm pretty sure it's um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. They do, if you get emails from them, I've ordered a few downloads from them, but um, if you sign up for their emails, you will get a free printable every, I think it's weekly. I want to say weekly. I don't think it's monthly, but anyway, these three um, particular, like I have more. Where the heck are they? Um, I just cut them all up. Like I just have been saving them and hoarding them and I have a bunch of different stuff that I've kind of gone through now and cut them into size. So these I'm pretty sure were this rose ones and I think there were six of them. So I could do more. But they, I for some reason cannot get them to print the right size. So they're a little smaller than three and a half by two and a half, but it, it's fine. It works out fine. I just made the card that size and then, um, I had a butterfly and a bird. These are just K and Company birds. And I just got these little ladybug. Um, those are buttons from um, Michaels. And I always add stickles to everything or Wink Estella and stuff all over. So that's that set. I think that one turned out pretty. And then I did this travel one. And this was all of this pretty much, I'm pretty sure, was from... Um, Mod Podge, um, those Mod I think I have it right here. Hold on. And it's like the travel one. I have like, so, uh, let's see, a vintage. This is um, Podgeable Papers, it's called. And I think this is on clearance, and it's called Travel or Voyage. So most of these were in this packet. Like there's um, stamps and um, like posters, travel posters, a map. So I used a lot of this stuff. Um, cut it all apart and made like on this one. I cut her out. I put a piece of the map here a Couple of stamps and I put travel. That's um, Tim Holtz chit chat. This is a Brad the airplanes a Brad From Michaels. It's like a travel Brad then this one is I cut the train out from the paper and a couple of stamps again a piece of the map and a big um, postcard and put adventure this is actually like a street map in there, you can't really see it. That's a Tim Holtz Brad, too. And then, oh, and I put this twine around all of them, too. It's like a, um, 
a really natural fiber twine. It says Voyage. Put a suitcase, another postcard, a couple more stamps, and then this is another one of those brads. It's a globe brad with a Paris uh, poster and some more maps. So, oh, and I bought a, finally, a gold leafing pen. Um, Nurse Tara had mentioned that she likes to use these, and I always thought I, I would love to try it, so I did. So all, you did, all I did was edge these with the gold leafing pen, and it looks really cool. So that's my travel ones. And then these are just like from, this one was scraps that I had from the, um, the green paper line. And I just had these tulips. I don't know. I just, it's all right. <laughs> and then this is another paper that I had previously cut out and I had already inked the edges with the black soot ink. And I love the nest. And so, and these little birdies were sitting on my desk because they were cut aparts from the um, Graphic 45 paper. So I just put that there. I popped it up and put this ribbon. Like this stuff was kind of like sitting on my desk. So I just like put it together. And these are little um, charms that I just cut the bale off and put them with the flowers. Put a little metal flower. I like um, collaging metal in with my pieces. So this one I like. I like this one. I didn't put it back on it. Um, so the swap that I'm going to join, that I have joined, it's not due till July, is Art Dolls. And by Art Dolls, I don't mean necessarily these type. These are just like Art Dolls, but they're already pieced together for you. I think she wants me to piece them together for myself. So I was playing today. These aren't them. I'll show you them in a minute. I got to talk fast. Um, but these two, again, are the Ephemeris Vintage Garden Paper. Um, and I just, these little kids were from when I made my um, little mini canvases for Art and Sassy. But they sit down. So I just thought that would look cute with them sitting on the mushrooms. And this one says Embrace Imperfection. I don't know if they're done yet. I think I still want to do more stuff to them. I think I might coat them with Mod Podge so that I can um, do some shading. You can't really do shading if the paper, because the paper will just absorb the magic marker and stuff. So, and then this one just says thoughtful. But, so they're not quite done yet. And then these two, I had done um, these backgrounds before, a while ago. I was playing with my metallic paints, these Lemur by Jacquard metallic paints. And it's like tissue paper, and I just like put different color metallic paints on there and stamped on top and I just thought these kids would look cute on there and they do like I'm really happy with these I think they pop off that background so nicely I just put sing on her enjoy life and edged it with the metallic pen with the gold leafing pen so I really like them I think they turned out so simple so easy um, but really cute. I really like them. So these are my art doll ones. And I, this one's the first one I made. And I, I like her the best just because she's proportionate. But I actually cut all these pieces separately. Like I cut the head out of a domino sheet. She was like an angel domino sheet. Um, the wings are a butterfly. That's from um, a Graphic 45 line. The dress is a um, Prima paper. And then the Arms and legs are just from a kind of skin tone paper. I cut grass down here because I didn't like my feet. When I made my feet, I did not like them. Glued it all together, stickled it and stuff like that. And I mean, pretty simple. It's, it's I think I'm gonna end up ordering a um, collage sheet that does this because this is another one. And she's okay. I think her arms are just way too skinny. Like, I'm very critical of my work. So, proportionate-wise, I just think she looks a little off. Um, the butterfly wings are just a little big. I think I'd probably go smaller with my wings on both of these. I just ordered some wings, so hopefully they'll be smaller. And again, I covered the feet because I did not like my feet. And then this one, I just don't like how I tried to shade around it. And like I said, you can't really shade without... Um, the paper being sealed first, so they didn't really come out how I'd hoped. But that was my first try um, at the at the little um, collage uh, dolls. So anyway, um, I'm going to cut it short because I don't want to go over 10 minutes. But those are my ATCs, you guys. All right, thanks for watching.